Hello, once again, how are you doing? As you know, again, I am Richard Mitchell of Genuine Uniquely RSM Counseling Advocacy and Consulting. Last time I came your way, I did, we did, um, a number of, of topics on feminine theory and techniques as well whereby we covered as I said a number of this um, issues and, and techniques and therapy and theory and, and such but now I'm coming with you with sexual abuse sexual abuse um, has affected a large portion of the community at large and one that should not be negated is one in which I belong to the black community so sexual abuse I am well aware of both today let me retract a little bit today is April the 15th 2013 and we should therefore continue in that perspective um, again the topic is sexual abuse I am well aware of both male and female survivors of childhood sexualized abuse as well as adult survivors of sexual assault it is commonly asked what is sexualized abuse well there are a range of experience that people have that would be considered sexual sexualized abuse for some people it involves sexual activity with an adult or an older child the older person was in a position of power and exploited that in some way to involve the younger person in the sexual activity it is possible that there may have been some enjoyable aspect for the younger person it could be companionship specialized attention and or affection in some cases there may not have been actual sexual activity but an older person may have behaved in a sexualized manner that made the child adolescent feel uncomfortable confused or violated this could include specialized or suggestive talk jokes or in the windows suddenly appearing made in front of suddenly appearing nude in front of a younger person behaving provocatively in front of the younger person walking in on the younger person while in the bath etc well what happens to a person who experiencing trauma it is commonly inquired by siblings um, folks that have um, persons who are traumatized everyone reacts differently two people who experience the same trauma will likely react differently during the traumatic experience the body and mind can only cope, cope with a person of the experience the rest is recorded in the memory system as a traumatic memory the memory may include images I believe a bad person that I have a bad person may tell them that I'm a bad person or the world is an unsafe place body sensation emotions and sometimes sounds tastes and smells some people are able to access these memories easily other people forget for forget forgetting is is the mind of the body's way of coping with an overwhelming experience 
but we do need not to suffocate these experience it will cause future damage or um, to an individual who why do I suddenly have memory often people will remember childhood abuse or will remember that extent of it suddenly as adults anyone anything can trigger it a television program the smell of something cologne the sound or a dog barking it doesn't matter what something will trigger and can trigger it when a memory reappears it is the mind and body's way of saying now you are ready to cope with these terrible experiences but there are times still that we suppress when even the mind is ready and already grieve and the body is ready to deal with it so it is that psychotherapist and writer Ivan Dolan developed technique third, which breaks situations in thirds. A third of our time is spent discussing the past, discussing what happened your childhood. If other people knew how they responded and third of our time is on the present how is it affecting your life now and a third on the future what do you want to do in order to make changes in your life in your life it is important to recognize that the process can be a slow one and that it is important to move a slow pace so that the images emotion and possible stages sta strange body sensation do not become overwhelming what is very important is that the person feels as safe comfortable and supported as possible while discussing these issues with some people after we have built a trusting and therapeutic relationship use EMDR to help with the mem the process processing memory you may ask one may ask how can it how EMDR can help survivors are sexual abuse. EMDR can help a survivor of sexual abuse to be free of disturbing image, body sensation and emotion. It can help to diminish or extinguish feelings of shame, embarrassment and humiliation and bring the survivor a sense of peace. It can help to refocus a sense of responsibility, break back to the perpetrator where it begins. EMDR will assist in interrogating concern about sexual problems and orientation connecting in relationship and resolve the issues of mistrust again it is asked what is M E M D R E M D R which means eye movement desensitization and reprocessing E M D R is an approach to therapy therapy that I find particularly helpful for people who have experienced trauma. This can be something normally associated with trauma, a sexual assault, an earthquake, or a bank robbery, or an experience that which disturbing and personally traumatizing, which includes bullying, humiliation, or betrayal. To begin the therapy therapeutic process, a relationship of trust must be established between you and your therapist. Your therapist will identify situation or targets for EMDR. 
processing. Targets are often individual events. On the day of processing, your therapist will ask you a few questions about the event to identify any negative belief, images, emotions, and body sensation that are associated to the target. Your ther therapist will use bilateral st st stimulation, ask you to move your eyes, tap your knees, or play music or sound in your right then left ear by literal sensation helps to activate the way messages travel in your brain and help you process the lingering aspect of that memory while your therapist is doing the bilateral stimulation you will be stopped you will be stopping to ask you what he will or she will be stopping to ask you what you are experiencing. You may have images similar to watching a movie or of your life. Body sensation upsets them a quickened uh, breath. Thoughts of emotions. Typically, you will alternate between images, body sensation, thoughts and emotions while you are processing. Your therapist will be observing while you are processing. Some common observation may include whether you, your face is flushed how your eyes are moving, changes in facial expression, etc. These observations help your therapist to determine how the therapy is progressing and what the next step should be. Your therapist will ask you to pay attention to certain aspects of processing a different point in time. For example, you may For example let me recap again. These observations help your therapist to determine how the therapy is progressing and what the next step should be. Your therapist will ask you to pay attention to certain aspects of processing at different points in time. For example, you, he may or she may ask you to focus on a pain you uh, maintain in your shoulder or to pay close attention to a strong feeling of sadness. And other times, your therapist may ask a question. The dilemma of sexual abuse treatment. The dilemma is treating sexual abuse is the need for disclosure. Adults abuse as children hesitate to tell anyone about the abuse and as a result are unable to get adequate help in managing their problematic feeling and behavior in the present day. There are many reasons why people do not disclose their incident of childhood sexualized abuse. These are, for many people, there is an overriding feeling that they should have been able to do something to stop the abuse. This is not the case as the victim was not in a position to prevent this um, predator abuse of power from an adult. As adults, it is often difficult to remember that as children they did not have the power to stop the abuse. There are, there may have been 
threats of violence, humiliation, or blame by the predator, which still feels result resent for the adult survivor. The shame and discomfort of acknowledging sexual experience at such a young age often prevents them from speaking out. The topic of sexuality remains taboo in North American society as it is perceived as an innate intimate subject and the disclosure experience of abuse may many people feel that they risk a part of themselves there may be embarrassment and humiliation associated with the experience for most the experience was traumatizing many are faithful about opening up the subject for fear they will feel worse for having disclosed and detail of the abuse so we see here that there are a number of things that affects an individual why it is it is concerning to be a dilemma of sexual abuse people may be hesitant to meet with a therapist because they do not feel ready to deal with their memories of abuse this is a healthy and appropriate response it takes strength and courage to deal with difficult traumatic memories particularly when those memories may be revisited this process cannot be forced you will know when you are ready and that is the best time to connect a therapist contact a therapist yeah. Treating sexual abuse meaning, means targeting instances of abuse. As a result, sometimes people experience powerful emotion or body sensation during EMDR processing. On the other hand, at other times, the shift will feel subtle and not perceive as distressing. Your therapist will guide the process and has the re responsibility of keeping you safe. This means that if you are experiencing a distressing emotion or body sensation, your therapist may allow it to be continued for a few minutes. If this distress does not appear to be shifting, your therapist will employ techniques to take you away from those feelings and will assist you in relaxing and feeling grounded. It is not the goal of EMDR therapy to retrieve memories however sometimes you can gain clarity during EMDR processing and gain more information about the situation for instance you might target a work meeting eight years ago where you felt hum humiliated during processing you may recall the first and last name of everyone who was present in the meeting even though I cannot it cannot occur eight years ago and you have not yet um, met with someone of of those people since this type of remembering can be a, a byproduct of EM DR processing it is also a goal at this point in time I'm gonna break and we'll come back to you at a later time you take care of yourself and know that God loves you and you are more important than you can ever imagine you take care